This is a CBS News Detroit update. Good morning, I'm Sandra Ali. Here's a look at some of your top headlines on this Thursday. As of Friday night, the government is staying open. And because of bipartisan cooperation, we're keeping the government open without any poison pills or harmful cuts to vital programs. A great outcome for the American people. One day after overwhelmingly passing in the House, the Senate has given final approval to a temporary government funding package, averting a nationwide shutdown. The temporary funding will continue through early next year. However, the plan does not include the White House's nearly $106 billion request for aid to Ukraine and Israel. The bill now heads to the president's desk to be signed into law. Thousands of UAW workers at General Motors expecting to finish casting their ballots today. So far, nearly 54% of the union's GM workers voted to approve a tentative agreement. 46% have rejected it. New evidence in the case against the parents of the Oxford school shooter. Jennifer Crumbly's attorney now says her son admits he lied when he said he asked his parents to take him to therapy. The Crumbly's are both charged with involuntary manslaughter. They're the first parents to ever face charges in connection to a school shooting committed by their child. We're on your block in Detroit. City Council members approved the use of a $30 million grant to install cameras on highways. Police say those cameras will help police investigate freeway crimes. There will also be license plate readers as well. Everything should be up and running by 2025. On your block in Farmington Hills, where an iconic arcade museum could soon be history. Talks are underway right now about demolishing Marvin's m marvelous mechanical museum and replacing it eventually with a Meyer grocery store. We do expect to learn more details about the future of the venue at a planning commission meeting, which is coming up tonight at 730. Now let's go ahead and check in with next weather meteorologist Kylie Miller. Good morning, Kylie. Good morning, Sandra. Good morning to you. We are welcoming in some sunshine early this morning, but by the afternoon and evening, clouds are going to be rolling on in. Cloud cover today is going to be increasing, but temperatures are going to be very mild for today. Expecting highs to climb into the mid 60s. Until then, we're starting off with temperatures for most of us in the lower 40s. We're going to be climbing into the 50s for the early afternoon and the reaching highs today in the middle 60s. Then here's going to be the forecast for the evening hours. Temperatures will scale back into the 50s. We're going to be landing right around midnight in the middle 50s and then temperatures will continue to fall over the course of tomorrow. So future cast going to consist of increasing clouds today. So starting the day with sunshine by the afternoon. Here's a look at 4 p.m. You can expect mostly cloudy sky conditions and then overnight tonight rain arrives. It's all thanks to a cold front that's going to be swinging up through. This cold front is really going to be sparking up the rain showers as we head into tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, and then by the evening hours, the rain showers will be tapering off. So the majority of the wet weather is going to be coming tomorrow morning into the early afternoon time frame, and then by the evening hours, maybe you're going to be heading out to the Christmas tree and lighting. You can expect drier conditions with decreasing clouds. So for your next other seven day outlook, temperatures for today in the middle 60s, enjoy it because tomorrow our temperatures will continue to fall over the course of the day. It's going to be breezy today and tomorrow with winds gusting upwards of about 20 to 25 miles per hour. Looking at a gorgeous weekend ahead with temperatures a little bit cooler in the 40s. Sandra. Thank you, Kylie. That's a look at your headlines. We'll be back later today covering stories that matter to you and your family. We're always streaming on the CBS News app 24 seven. Have a great day.